What's up guys? This is the Rovan and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Denmark. So to round out what happened last time, um, I attacked Hyderabad and then I made peace with the um, Indians because I was afraid of their might. And then once we had two of their navies actually in quite vulnerable positions, um, I sunk them both at sea. So now we are at war with them again. Um, however, Hyderabad is reinforced. Karnataka is that much closer to getting a, being a proper army. Bruno Ostling is going to join them with his heavy cavalry. So we can actually provide some support to the region. Um, and we have, we have our navy position to protect against the Prussians. But what is tempting... So I move out my navy in force. It is tempting to move this garrison army and have it attack Berlin. That is going to be my main... my my aim, I think. Because we're allied with Poland to the east. We're not at war with France or Hanover or anyone. Because Hanover is indifferent to us. But if we took Berlin, we would have a major city in Central Europe and, and, a, and skin in the game. And also a target... Or I could send my London garrison, maybe? No, not my London garrison, my British protection force. No way, that's the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. Let's get them back to London. Swansea's going to grow in two turns, which is nice. Um, I think I'll wait next turn to buy some more artillery and then I will send an army to go and take Berlin. While it does have level 1 forts, which is nice, because I don't want level 2. And now we are at war. Oh yes, and they also assassinated an Indian general. So, let's hit and turn and see what chaos unravels from my diplomatic activities. So if we take Berlin and we hold it, well, it provides a useful jumping off point for operations in Europe and it also protects the Polish's holds west flank. I'm not giving you empiricism for a grand. Um, oh yes, the Prussians are auto resolved. on for repair and refit and then it tastes like blueberries stay there that's safe there good here come the persians yep let them raid away don't worry my soul we have no quarrel with you yet oh yes can't trust the greeks And eventually the Spaniards will have enough of me and they will eventually declare war. But because we're not focusing in the Americas anymore, we're there alone. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. Okay, tech, tech, research, priests. Let's keep rebuilding. Let's keep... Keep upgrading. Expert person, minus 4% upkeep, minus 1 to morale and battles, damn it. Trin the Tobago, basic roads and things like that. Lilia's got. Industrial buildings are very good to buy. Um, and let's build two units of full artillery and a howitzer unit. And let's also start to recruit some. Infantry to take the position of the garrison. Yeah, that'll do. So we take Berlin. Bankrupt. Fleet arrives. Ah, uh, yes, these are my 
expeditionary troops. Not my expeditionary troops, my expat infantry, the Nordic, Swedish, and Finnish legions. Let's deploy the sh ships. Deploy the troops. Let's get them moving up to Karnatska. Let's get Bruno Osling up there as well. Can't recruit an admiral, general yet. Okay, don't recruit cavalry. Infantry yet, because you won't need it. Bruno Ostling has been promoted! Okay, let's ignore the militia for now. Three infantry will join them. We need some foot artillery. Three infantry, f two, three, three, four units of foot artillery. Yeah, that's not bad. Not as many native infantry in there as I'd like. Um, but you take what we can get. Which is no, I don't want improved settlement fortifications. But I would like to punch these guys out. Probably west, maybe take Satara and Goa, draw them into a big battle, and then capture both these at once. That would be quite handy. Let's keep the repairs going here. Let's hop over to the East Indies and let's take... Oh no, they're not badly damaged. Back on their trade post. Pardon me. Um, okay, I think that's everything I can spend. Cool. Enter. Ah! Oh, it's got to pick what type of research to do next. <laughs> oh well. Hmm. Do you need to do you need to be concerned about the French somewhat? Thought oh, the French come in to help the to break the siege of Munich. But it looks like the Austrians won. I mean, they should win. Yeah, there you go. Chunk. See what? Europe, Europe has been in flux. No, not physiocracy for a thousand either. Although it's very telling that they, Spain is still on basic schools. Very telling. Um, not that I'm complaining. Not as much of a risk for me. <laughs> Russia does like to try. Can't fault them for that. Go on, 13 colonies. Go take some French territories. Do it. T you, did you lose Albany? Jesus. Okay, so the Mughals. I saw that navy move. Trevor, I've sunk those navies. I really should move in. Because the risk is I don't take advantage of the gains while I've got them. See if Greece has for some reason gone super aggro for me. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Okay, move up. Two units of guns, then you guys will be ready to move, so let's also just start adding on. Okay, for every company infantry, I want to buy two supplies. Something like that. New towns, Trondheim in Norway. Excellent. Swansea in England. Also excellent. Let's keep progressively upgrading these ports to commercial basins. Ah, uh, yes, we also have modern universities. Which I think that's the only one. That's the one I can only get in. Yeah, my home theatre. Gunnery school will get built. Great arsenal. Have I not got it? Oh, I need to build a gunnery school. Dang nabbit. Some good buildings. Let's upgrade the church building to get rid of this religious unrest. And also to start spitting out some priests. That would be a good idea. 
Let's recruit some sepoys to fill out this garrison army. Just infantry, because that's all you really need. And I can't build any howitzers. Oh, good. So send Friedolf Rask back to Copenhagen. Fear board. not, it's garrisoned now. As things then let's build you know, line infantry guards and probably a howitzer just to go in there and help. Fleet arrives. I have two more ships to join. I think it's probably because there's a Prussian fleet around wandering around. It's probably. Flags not even showing is depleted. It's probably better I just clump them up a little bit more. Running on 16 grand was well, because we lost a good trade partner. Trade agreement and well, no, can't give you any tech. I'll offer you a mighty 59 gold. On Spain. Kidoki. So these are our friends. Good old Russia, the Ottomans, France, New Spain. So don't worry, soon we'll have Berlin. Berlin will be ours. Heavy cavalry. Obviously, it'd be pretty big on full on fort battle. But that's good. Oh, Uppsala is going to get national debt, which is good. Reduce upkeep across the board, which would be very handy. And Wealth of Nations is another one that's very handy. Let's end. Should have moved my spy. Not. Hmm, sending their ships somewhere. of French garrison forces. Oh, the Austrians are back. <laughs> Get away from our Bune. Get away from our Harbour of area. No. No, you're not having my stuff. Canatica army's done. Don't want the Bahamas for 14 grand. Nah, not the Bahamas. I like the Bahamas. If it was the Windward Islands or the Leeward Islands, then maybe. To be honest, it's surprising how much cash they've got on the hand to easily, you know, throw that sort of money around. For territories that are never going to pay it back. Or at least not very quickly, anyway. Concern me what the Greeks are doing, because it makes me wonder if they're just going to come straight at me. There's a port in this region that Good. has not yet been National developed. National debt can carry on so doing what it's doing. New town emerges in Shizrig. Okay, not upgrade you to a commercial base yet. But let's take all of you minus. Line infantry unit. I mean, let's take a another line infantry unit out. Drop my mountain troops in. Send these guys back to the artillery fort. So then, let's bring my sloop around. Let's take. This army. <laughs> Drop off the peninsula. Now I'll get ready to march on Berlin. Let's send him back. Let's 
Because you've got a great arsenal. But I can't build a gunnery school because I don't have reorganised procurement. That's what it is. Next turn, I can do that. Okay. Okay, so let's check. So London's on 14 grand. You could probably do with a commercial basin. Newcastle could as well. Port blockaded. Can I cut? Fair enough. Let's move this army up. They'll start to push up against Kutak. Let's keep building some... Keep building troops. So now that is a very good garrison by itself. So you can march out, get into Hyderabad, build two units of foot artillery, and then get some heavy cavalry. So who's in here? No general. General. And another general. Go on, son. Do it again. Yes. God, this this agent is brilliant. Local knowledge and assassin. Let's march him west to see see who bites. He's got plantations are built, new roads are built. Water pipe cloth mill has been built. Okay, then just in case. Yeah, Karnataka doesn't hate me. Yep, I don't know about it slowly converting. So you probably do want to attack this building and force them back up, then go and secure Kutak. Cool. Public servant dies. Public servant dies. Let's check our ministers. Okay, you're a terrible treasurer. You're not as bad. And it's not impacted us too much. And it's, I can't kick the head, but getting rid of that bad treasury was the most important one. Yeah, good. Lots of good recruitment. To give you a general to command. Torsten Nyholm, the governor of Hyderabad. Awesome. In turn. So let's see the response. Improved animal husbandry for two grand. I mean, that's not terrible. I mean, I'll take the extra two grand for sure. Government will definitely help because I've got these armies sat around. Oh, Persia's going to come and try and do something to me in person. Well, in my home theatre. Yeah, the Indians can see what's going to happen. But we will do quite significant damage to them. They meet up in the Bay of Biscay and then they just go south again. Nice one, Greece. Great uh, naval there initiative there. In this region that has not yet been Good. Developed. Select the type. Stop asking me to upgrade this port. Okay, so Norway's got iron workshops. As has Swansea. As has Lulea. Good roads, lots of stuff in Hyderabad, lots of stuff in Trinidad and Tobago. I mean, I'm probably going to want Gunnery School to get me howitzers in Hyderabad. Ingen kommer att 
Okay, let's try and kill the third commander of this army. Ah! Oh. Shouldn't have sent him max any kicked infiltrates. So that's probably my mistake. I would like them to try and move out to attack me, ideally. Oh, can I build... Go down to Ceylon. Gunnery school. Perfect. And let's sally out my navy at Colombo. Let's go break the blockade. Don't want the brig. Let's get them back into port. Get repairs underway. Bring one of my sloops. Bring the fifth raid over. Bring one of my sloops back to Colombo. Awesome. Karnataka is slowly upgrading. Um, let's go put... Not upgrading. Replenishing. Let's put Berlin under siege. It's supposed to be even assault it. It's mostly militia and poor quality infantry. Um, let's do it. There you go. Even, even probably the, the last couple of parts that we're going to attack Berlin. But that is the, the opportunity that has been thrust our way. We will take advantage of it, as you can see. Joseph Addison, my voice is still for war. Jeez, such a killjoy. Okie dokie, so. This should be a relatively simple. Oh, nice flat terrain. Okay, so we want to deploy our artillery a bit back. Because they do have mortars. I think my howitzers might not reach. They'll reach the front wall. Yeah, that's not bad. This is getting my guards and lots of basic infantry out on the flank. Maybe a bit more than that. Good. So I've got a decent amount of infantry ready to cover the guns. One unit of Hussars, who's going to stay as kind of the general's protection. Blow a hole in that wall. So these are the howitzer shots coming in. Let's drop them onto the Prussian Fusiliers. See, this is why I'd be tempted to redo my Prussian campaign, because with these new mods I've got, for more units and so on, so many more choices that I didn't really get to explore in my last campaign. Because all I used was lots of provincial line. Here comes another salvo in. Some, some winning horses. I would love if my Howitz has got some experience, but I fear they will most likely not. So they may as well just go for some of those units sat right here at the front. Rather than specifically trying to hit any one particular unit. I mean, with Quickline, they seem to be so much more accurate. There we go, that wall is down. Hit this section of the wall. Ooh, that's a good target for howitzers. Two kills. And three guys who stood up. Ah, there we go. 
We can drop some nasties over the wall on the armies, on the units that are sacked, protecting the breaches. Oh, my foot artillery. So they're going to hit some of the this, some of this unit up on the wall, the Farlock Arm Citizenry. We haven't done anything in here yet. Got carcass shot and explosive shell, but those will really knock my range down. They may as well keep hitting them. And now. Keep firing shots into the breach. Well, some of them do not want to. So the house has got engaged by something. How's this? Oh, special artillery unit. Okay. Okay, let's unnimble my guns. My how it says and get ready to move them up. As our lines move up. Because now there is no direct artillery threat towards me. There's the how there's the mortar batteries, but they're going to be a threat to everyone. I've got some kills. Trouble is Prussian infantry is good in the He's good at melee. Right. These guys need to run. So, the 4th Regiment can run to the gate. Position, halt, form square. Try running the door. See, look at these stupid grand ears because the door's open. They're like, oh, we can come in through here. I'm like, no. Okay, it looks like we have to, we have to attack into the breach because otherwise they will not do anything. There we go. 
everyone get involved. No. Don't push in. That's what they want you to do. See the damage those mortars are already doing. What I want is these guys to get up and fire down into the ranks. Like we we've almost been forced to attack through these doors because they won't let us get out. These guys are broken from mortar fire. routing from the mortar fire it's so frustrating it's like they shouldn't be why are they this powerful especially when for me they're so terrible I want these guys to get up on the wall so they can just fire down. See that they managed to just completely break these units on the wall, like utterly. Even though they should not. I think it's been so long since I've been beaten by a. Since the mortars have had such a devastating effect, I've kind of forgotten how bad they are. Okay. How it's the hussars need to leg it in. Roma how it's in. Pull through. Pull through through their infantry. I even want to speed up time because I can't watch it. My cavalry, my hussars are wavering. so well when your when your infantry are gone.
上killed their general oh, my cavalry routed how what were they shoot what was shooting at them no one it wasn't my stupid mortars was it god this has gone horribly well horribly badly oh let's just call it because that's Mortars! Curse you, Mortars! My personal nemesis, thy name is Mortars! Oh, yeesh. Oh, let's, let's just quit the battle there. Close defeat? That wasn't close. That was a absolute one-sided... I mean, that's a lot of enemy kills, but we've not got many... Okay, why'd you run this way? That's like far away from where I can actually do anything useful to protect you. Well, looks like these guys are no troops stationed at this fort. gonna go back. As things stand, it could and these are going to be the core of my replacement oh. army. God, that sucked. I hate mortars so goddamn much. They make full units just retreat for no reason. And when I have them, they're awful. Ugh. Lesson learned, but I'm gonna I'm going after them specifically in the next part. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the final death of the goddamn Prussians. Ah, oh, cheers guys. <laughs>